shredded, bro. I know. I'm getting shredded right now. I like, I feel like I could run freaking a marathon right now. Right now? This is prime. This is prime condition. Mm-hmm. If someone wants to fucking box me right now, yeah. it's, it's raps. It's crazy because yo, my my girl went on like a little cottage trip, mm. and like for I think it was like three four days. Yeah. Whole time I was doing blessed. Like I was eating right. I was going to the gym. But when you go on vacation, it's raps. But, but as soon it's, it's as you go, oh my god. That's what like, I'm saying. It sucks. Everything comes back, bro. But that's the that's the the real test is the is the vacation test. Yeah. I, I think I think if you if you start like a, a routine mm-hmm. and it doesn't make it past vacation, yeah, but it's you not have stick. which sucks because it's like you're not working at like if you go to Mexico, yeah, like it really takes a lot for me to go to the gym in the resort. Like, <laughs> there's no way I'm doing this right now because I'm supposed to be relaxing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? One thing, okay, let's say you're on vacation, right? Mm. This is kind of gross. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Is it hard for you to brush your teeth? Brush my teeth. Because maybe, maybe just me, I don't bring a toothbrush. Ew. No. <laughs> Every single time, fam, I have to buy a toothbrush. I have to get the hotel toothbrush and shit. Because I always forget to pack it. Low key, because it's like it's crazy because um the hotels usually have everything for a shampoo, conditioner. Yeah. But there's pe- no toothbrush. People toothbrush brush their teeth. No toothbrush. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was so down bad one time. <laughs> ew, ew. How long? So How down long have bad. you gotten uh without brushing your teeth? No, like it long? Yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't brush my teeth at all. Oh, when I was a kid, though, yeah. this I'm talking like like SKJK. Mm-hmm. My, like, I would avoid my mom to brush my teeth. Touch. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But anyways, going yeah. back to my story, I was so down bad, mm-hmm. no toothbrush. Yeah, there's toothpaste in in the in the crib because somebody was brushing his teeth. Mm-hmm. I took my finger like this. Yeah, put the toothpaste. toothpaste. Oh my! I was so going like this, bro. Dirt. Ew. I was going like that. No, I had to do that too for camping. Like I always forget my toothpaste and shit. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think I went like two days straight, no, to no uh, brush until I got home. Yeah. And then you know that that when you get, come back from camping, like the washrooms there, shit, like it smells like shit as soon as you get there. It's survival. Yeah. It's survival mode. And, <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like one of my boys w- went to the washroom. He's like, yo, uh, the most awkward thing is like when you're the stall beside you is you're, a guy shitting, and it's like. Who's gonna drop the bomb first? Like mm. you guys are literally waiting, so it's like fuck it. I put headphones on, and it's like uh, the one where you can't hear the outside, and you just let it go, bro. Damn. Yeah, it's so awkward. <laughs> so I literally, if I'm going on a camping trip for two days, I'll literally uh, like shit before, and then shit when I'm home. Like I won't shit. Damn. There. So you're holding it for like five days? No, like that's crazy. Two days back, <laughs> but if it's really coming out, then I have to go. Yo, you know that's me? crazy. Yeah, bro. No, nah, I can't do that. I, I have to like every single morning. I have to let it loose. Every single morning. I have to nah. drop off the kids like in the morning, bro. Like, because <laughs> if if you if you don't, I feel like you're just carrying all that weight on you. Yeah, yeah. It's I heard whack. something too where it's like, uh, brushing our teeth is actually not even like healthy for us because it's like. The foods that we're eating before we brush our teeth, that means brushing our teeth like symbolizes that the yeah, food we're eating is bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not supposed to eat it. Yeah. We're supposed to be eating like healthy exactly healthy shit, like greens. Yeah, and that stuff. cleans that cleans your shit for itself. It's hard to know for sure though. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, like, we're supposed to be eating meat and stuff. Yeah. At least depending on who you're talking to, they'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And meat, I think that's the biggest like causer of plaque. Oh, plaque. And then that's why you get like plaque in your teeth, is because mm-hmm. you eat a lot of meat and the oils and shit, like mm-hmm. cholesterol. Yeah. But I remember this one story. Yeah. I did, this is the most down bad I've ever been in my okay. life. Let me hear it. So my my mom, she used to be, uh, she used to go to like physiotherapy, like massages and shit. Mm-hmm. And we used to go to this like, you know, the, the rec center? Yeah. So we used to go to the rec center. Keep in mind, this is kind of like after hours. Everything's closed except for the massage parlor. Okay. The massage like therapist. So me and my sister, we had to wait for my mom. Uh. In this, in this like waiting area, bro. I guess because I was a kid, I was so active. Mm-hmm. Man's were thirsty, but I didn't have anything to drink. No water bottle, no nothing, right? Okay. But there's one thing inside the waiting room. There was that you know the jug thing, the water. Yeah. Yeah, the water fountain type thing. Okay. Okay. No cups. <laughs> you like- ask, ask me. Ask me what I did, bro. You either were like you did this. I wish. You went like this. I wish. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? You Damn, do? I was down bad. I don't know. I don't know how how like creative I got. Yeah. But I think I blame it on Bear Grylls. Because I used to watch like Discovery Channel all the time. And yeah, like yeah. the survival videos with Bear Grylls. Uh-huh. Bro, you know what I did? What? I, I took some, some tissue paper. I put it under the water. It went like this. Okay. And waited for it to be filled with water. I went like... No <laughs> way! 
What the fuck? Yeah, and in my head, that was like the most genius idea in the world. <laughs> Ew, so you're drinking tissue. M- more times I could have just went like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have went like this, but it was pretty low to the floor. I would have had to like okay, bend my yeah, neck yeah, yeah. and shit. But that's still, but nah, squeezing this. Wait, so, so you were like this? Yes, bro. I, I took the, the freaking, the tissue paper. I wet it with water to drink. Nah, that's insane. And I did it a couple times because I couldn't get enough. <laughs> Wait, was your mom watching this or no? No, my mom's in the oh, massage thing. The thing. Yeah. Like, don't kill me. What'd your sister say? Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I think imagine, my... imagine the receptionist. Reception. She wasn't there. She wasn't oh, there. Okay, she wasn't there. This either. is after hours. Nobody's oh, in there okay. except for like the therapist. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's that's that, that's the most thirsty I've been in my life. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I I, I never felt that much thirst. Like mm. it's dry. That's fucked. You know, you know, you're thirsty when like your throat's like itchy, mm. and then you're like like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to. I had, had to. to. Did you ever do this thing where it's like I don't know why all guys do this, but like when when you're in the shower and water's running down your body, you go like this. No, no. Have you ever just gone like this and then drop it? Yeah, <laughs> drop yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that shit happens to me all the time. You, and then, huh? Nothing. Nothing. No, no, my fault. My fault. Well, what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a down bad? Nah, never mind. Okay, never mind. That's, that's, that's too crazy for the. That's too crazy for the <laughs> podcast. I gotta okay. say. It. Okay, okay. But th- there's another thing like you can hold for water and uh-huh. like let it drop. And I'm, let's not talk about that one stuff. Anyways, Whoa, oh, no. <laughs> anyways, yeah, yeah, anyways, um, there's a conspiracy like mm. right now. It's fucked. So what's going on in Hawaii, Maui? Oh, yeah, yeah. You the, heard about the it? Forest fires, wildfire in Maui. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. Fam, that was where I wanted to retire my parents mm-hmm. in the in the the town of Lahaina. Yeah. So prayers go to everyone that lost their house, anyone that lost their life, anyone Facts. that is damaged from the fire. It's it's tragic. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. But there's there's a conspiracy going around, and I first heard of it mm-hmm. through TikTok. There was this guy, yeah. and he was a local of Lahaina, and pretty much he was saying, he was saying usually when a wildfire like this happens, there's signs like you you can tell oh it's season it's coming mm-hmm. right, and he said there's something fishy going on, and he doesn't know what it is yet, and it's really weird that. They've always been trying to, I guess, claim the land or buy the land from the city of Lahaina, but it was mm-hmm. like historic. Okay. So they couldn't do it. They couldn't build anything new on top of it. Yeah. Because if you go there, it's very, um, it's very like traditional. It's not new. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't look modern. Yeah, yeah. Now this is what's crazy. So there was there was pictures mm-hmm. and a lot of speculation that it might have been planned. The forest fire. Yeah. Mm. This is a conspiracy. How? This is just a theory, right? How? But How? Check this out. I'm going to show you a picture. <laughs> okay. Forest fire being planned. Check this out. So, in this this is this is in Maui. Okay. This is what they've seen. This is the day laser beam. This is the day <laughs> the f- of the fire. <laughs> yeah. Earlier they caught a picture of almost like a laser mm. coming straight down from the sky. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they saw. Now, what's even crazier? Uh-huh. Somewhere else in the states, yeah, there was um, there's these other like sightings of of like almost like a green laser, mm-hmm. and they're wondering what's going on, what's going on. This is on video. I don't have the video right now because it's like hard to find. Yeah, yeah. But it started like a huge fire in the Holy city. Smokes. Yeah, and this this is just before it. Mm-hmm. So theory is that they wanted the land. Yeah. And they weren't making money off of it. So what did they do to their people? They're gonna get them out. They got them out of there. But but if how? But if you're if you want money from your people, no, they they wanted them out. Oh, they just wanted the land. They wanted the land because mm. that's really like that. That's the smartest way to get them out. To be honest, the fuck, I don't killing know. It's him crazy. in the way—it's crazy. I don't know. Nah, like it's obviously just the theory. Like I don't know for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not saying this is what it is. <laughs> Where did you see that video? Was that like on news? It's probably not on news, huh? It's not on news. That They're not gonna say this shit on yeah, news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I look, know look. like. What are these flashes of light going on during the fires in Maui? People are seeing like, it looks like there's still laser beams like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's fucked so too. So now this will get scary mm-hmm. because prior to this, mm-hmm. there's been a lot of, I guess, research and development of, um, there's a thing called direct energy. Fuck, I forgot what it's exactly called. It's pretty much like a laser. Mm-hmm. Direct energy weapons. Yeah. yeah. And they started making it and sending them into 
space. Damn, bro. So they can they can weaponize it, and then let's say there's like a target they mm. want to hit. Some real Alice in Borderland. Straight up from from the from literally the sky. Yeah. Oh my god! Damn, bro. And some real like Avengers level threat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's crazy because like the Alberta forest fires too. Everyone was saying like um you know how uh, helicopters go over the forest mm-hmm. and they're supposed to like burn down st- like certain trees. Yeah. But they're saying like that shit was planned too just because they're doing it in the most windy time in the biggest forest. Like why would they do that? Mm. You feel me? It's like it's obvious. It's like people have common sense. So like why would you do it when winds are happening? Do you think? Do you think a lot of these <laughs> fire? Because if you bag it, why is there so many just now? And Don't people want to say, it, and people want to say, it's like the aliens. No, climate change, global oh, warming. Oh, climate change. Nah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if that's their direct plan, they're trying to get us out to do somewhere, or trying to get us out to go somewhere else. To I be don't honest. know. Yeah. Or maybe just be afraid of aliens. So I'm like, what if they're like, yeah. oh, yo, this is aliens that did it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Fuck. But I, when I saw the video of that guy, mm-hmm. fuck, maybe I'll, I'll try to find it. But he yeah. was literally, he was literally concerned, fam, and yeah. he's a local. No. What broke my heart too was um when uh, all the families were literally had to s- swim in the water just to, to survive. Yeah. Yeah, because everywhere is on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't find this video no more. Fam. Nah, if you're and what sucks too is because um you were literally just in in Mau- Where you? No, Mau- no, no, no. I was in Oahu. Okay, you're in Oahu. Yeah. But you were in Hawaii though. Like that's so I know. crazy how that that's such a big spot right now and that happened. So probably to- a lot of tourists were in Maui. You feel me? No, it's always. Yeah, that's, that's, always, that's, that's yeah. the tourist spot. So it's like, oh my God, imagine like I went right after you and like I went to Maui and shit. Like, that's crazy. Fam, we were going to go there again. Yeah. We just decided to go Oahu this time. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, I don't know, bro. Yeah. Hopefully, mm-hmm. the the sad thing is, I don't know if it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the same. Like, yeah. Because what I really loved about that area is all, it's untouched. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like a... It's like a feeling you get when it's nothing's modernized, yeah. nothing's taught. It's like you don't get that vibe anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Know what I mean, and then it's hard to find those type of vibes. Mm-hmm. And the tourists, it sucks for the the actual people living there because it's like, oh, the tourists only care about Maui when it's nice and looking nice, and they can go explore it. But as soon as like forest fires happen, they're not doing nothing to to help them. You know. I mean, there there is a lot of initiatives. But yeah, right there's now. initiatives, but it's like I, you know, a lot of people are not really like, okay, that's not my home, so like. I'm good. Like I'm not thinking about that. Yeah. Like I'll feel I'll feel ways, but you know, mm-hmm. which is which sucks. What do you think? The the <clears throat> crazy thing is like if it's your home, that's literally yeah. their home, and they have nothing else on I their know, on I their know. back. Like what? What would be the, like your plan? Let's say let's say just Toronto out of nowhere, like yeah. knock on wood, but like out of nowhere, out of nowhere boom, something crazy happens. Fuck. What's the next move? I don't know. Fly to whatever safe. To be honest, where where would you fly to first? No, I'm just thinking about. Not even, not even just, damn, this is sad, but I'm not even thinking about, like, safety. I'm thinking about, like, Fam. everything I lost behind. Mm. I don't really care. I feel like I'll be safe. Like, feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be safe, but my family will be safe. I'll, I'll get, we'll get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm thinking is the shit I can't control. Mm. Like, the stuff. You know, you know those, are you sentimental? Uh, Kind of, but not really. Like, I can, if. I prioritize my safety b- before any sentimental. Yeah, I, I know. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying because you do that, mm-hmm. you leave everything else, and then it like just withers away. You forget about. Damn. I think I don't know why, but I'm I'm mad <laughs> sentimental. Where even if it's like, you know, like a concert ticket yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh you yeah, keep I keep behind. those. Yeah, I keep those. Yeah, or <laughs> like I even have a rose from prom, like oh, a yeah? piece of like a petal of the rose from Damn. prom. I have like. I have like my first gray hair. <laughs> first gray hair? No, you yeah, don't. Yeah, that's how my no, first gray hair. A oh, man's gonna clone you. Be careful with yeah, that. Yeah, like I have, I have shit like that. I don't know. Am I weird for that? No, nah, I don't know. But the, oh, but you know the the Black Mirror shit. Yeah. So, some guy uh did a funny skit where it's like, uh, if everyone had their body counts on their head. So, oh. so I don't know why they didn't turn this into a Black Mirror episode yet, but so there was this guy sleeping in the bed with a chick. Yeah. And then they both woke up right, and his body count went up. But her body count didn't go up, right? It's still at zero. So mm-hmm. the guy's like, uh, we just had sex. Like, what's going on? Like, why yeah. isn't your thing going up? And she's like, oh, no, it's probably glitching or something like that, right? The guy's like, wait a minute. No, we literally had it last night. Yeah. So the, the girl's like, okay, you win. And she, the guy's like, what do you mean by that? The girl rips off the fake band-aid. Oh! Underneath, it's like a thousand Ew. bodies. 
And it got so intense. The guy's like, what the fuck? Like, I'm calling the cops. And then the girl's like, oh, yeah, call the cops. I'm going to tell them that, that you beat me up. So she starts beating herself up. She's like, ow, why'd you hit me? <laughs> ow, why'd you hit me? And the guy's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a short film? No, it's like it's like a little funny skit on YouTube. Oh, okay. But imagine that shit, like, was on our heads. Damn, bro. <laughs> I mean, uh, not, not, to, not to, like, knock on people, mm -hmm. but, like, as long as you're truthful, I feel yeah. like it's the same. Yeah, as I don't. I don't really truthful. care. It's like as yeah. long as you're with me right now, like nothing in the past hurts. You feel know I me? Mean? Ah, uh, that's hard to say though. Mm. Like, it, let, let's say there's stats like yeah. right beside you. Not even, not even fucking like a like a number, a body yeah, count. Yeah. Forget about body count. Okay, okay. But it's like stats. Mm. Let's say everywhere you walk around, you have your overalls. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, like it's two K family. You, <laughs> you walk around and then you, you see and like five. Or like you can just open it. It's like yeah, a HUD. Yeah. Like you can you can decide to open his his overall. Let me see. Nah, that's fucked. And see what what's going up, what's going down, and oh shit. Oh my god, that would be crazy. Like I feel like a lot of people would not get talked to the way they would because it's like you you're not you're not going up to a fifty overall no more. Like you would hmm. go up to a fifty overall without knowing it, but no, seeing the stats right there, you're not going up. To I a feel 50. like I'm a little bit more optimistic though. I feel like people that are quote unquote underrated yeah let's say the introverts or the people that are kind of outcasts mm. they'll find a way to kind of make more friends and almost be able to interact with people more because of that okay. like they're people that are willing to go up to them because oh they see potential mm -hmm. but does that shit become transactional oh it becomes transactional then probably because uh, I don't know. You see that potential in that person, and you're like, "Oh, maybe I can use them for something." Because if you want to get deep, yeah, you could just do that already mm -hmm. with like social media. Yeah, there's this new feature I think in the iOS where it's like you can tap like this, and you give all the the details about you. Yeah, I have you that. that? I, have, oh? I have that on my on my card. Remember, I, I don't have. I that made yet. I made a card, and yeah. I can just tap on people's phones. Like, oh, oh here. really? Yeah, I didn't know that yet. Yeah, yeah. But I, I have one for you. If you want? Okay, let me get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's like my business card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. But I was in my room. Did you hear me when I was screaming? Nah. Because yo, okay. The out of every theory that I'm ever gonna tell, this is probably like my most favorite. I'm about to tell. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you don't know this because it's about to it? ruin it. So there's a theory that Drake and SZA have been making songs about each other for the past like years. Word. Do you know this? Nah, I don't. Okay, I don't. hold on. Let me let me show you. So we can start by the most recent. What's so a, yeah, telekinesis. SZA's feature on Utopia. When we were listening it, Carlos was like, yo, SZA with Travis Flow? No, that wasn't Travis Flow. Guess whose flow that was? That's Drake? Drake on Marvin's Room. Marvin's Room was uh, a conspiracy theory was about SZA because they dated before. So Marvin's Room? Listen, listen, what? listen. So listen, listen. Let me hear it. Listen closely. Listen, listen. Yeah, I know. I recognize it. Yo, that's crazy. I knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> Holy so, shit. So telekinesis was literally SZA's Marvin room for the for the girls. Yeah. And it's way more than that. Okay. So um, uh, let me see. On Twenty One Savage song with uh Drake, Mister Right Now, uh Drake goes. Uh, says she wants, to, uh, says she wants to fuck on some SZA. Wait, I used to date SZA back in 08. You remember that Wait, part? Wait, so he did date her back yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Damn, how long has SZA been in the game? No, a long time. I didn't bro. know that. And then hold on, there's more. So some people that are saying that SZA smoking on my X pack was about Drake. No. Because they're they're talking about exes. SZA drops a song, smoking on my X pack. Mm. No way. Listen, I'll show you more. Come and see me by Party Next Door no! featuring Drake. No, that's about SZA. And 2AM by SZA has the exact same flow. I'll show you all these songs after. And then SZA drops a track called Seek and Destroy. What does uh, Drake drop? Search, oh, and, search, rescue. search and Rescue. It's search the same rescue. shit. It's the same shit. Hold on, look. No way. I didn't know about this. Controller I... 2. Just chop this up so you don't get caught. Yeah. No way. Come on. Holy shit. Hold on, there's more. Hold on. They haven't collabed before, right? <laughs> no. That's not... Party Next Door song. Yeah. Listen to SZA. Bro. No way. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. That's crazy, huh? I never bagged it like that. What the yeah. hell? I mean, I don't listen to a lot. Of, I'm going to listen to it now. Yeah, I don't listen to SZA a lot. So I didn't know this was going on. 
That's great. I know there's like theories uh she's dating Trav right yeah, now. Yeah, Trav, yeah. No, <laughs> a lot of people are saying that's Travis's work husband. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, work, yeah, work, 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 work. Yeah. It probably is, to yeah, be yeah. honest. Because every single song they made together is better. better. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Like I wouldn't be surprised if if next year they have yeah. like a, a duo album. Mm-hmm. That's literally the equivalent of like a nurse going to to work and like the, the guy nurse massaging on oh, her back. Like, oh, come on. Like, imagine you're making banger after banger. You gotta be, you gotta be like jealous. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if you knew this. Okay. Well, what do you think is the most cheated profession? Cheated profession. Sorry. Mm. What do you think? Profession Guess cheated on the most. No, cheats the most. What oh. profession cheats the most? Mm. What do you think? Anything, service. So masseuse, bottle girl, everything. Mm. Oh, stripper probably. No, there's one. There's literally one job that cheats the most That's out of like... any other profession in the world, bro. <laughs> what is it? It's a nurse. Oh, nurse? Why? Because the long hours? I don't know. Yeah, it makes sense. Long uh, long hours. You're away from home. And like, there's other people. You gotta be like, the nurses, like guy nurses are fit because you gotta, you feel me, push around the carts and shit like that. But then it goes to the the theory like, are Filipinos red flags? Oh, because <laughs> what's eighty percent of nurses? Oh, it comes back around Filipino. Chill, 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 chill. That's crazy. Crazy. No, no, don't even say that because men's are gonna flip that. <laughs> That's so crazy, actually. No. Crazy. No, nah, man's can't do that. No, no, no. Filipinos are green flags, man. Yeah, we're green flags, bro. I hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I think I think there's a thing of um when you take care of somebody, mm-hmm. you like fall in love with them because you're already using that emotion. Mm. So I could see like let's say your job is to care for someone. Yeah, you yeah. would get feelings. Let's say you have to take care of like an elderly woman. Mm-hmm. You would have feelings for them when they pass away, no? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're always there. You're always taking care of them. You're always caring for them. And just the emotion with it, like you wouldn't do those things for someone you didn't care about. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to fake it. Yeah. And I think it's like coworkers in general is like you're seeing that person every day. Like even when you're a teen, most teens are getting into relationships through work. You know what I mean? Because it's like instead of going out, I can go to work where this person always is mm. and boom, the relationship forms there. When you see a person so much or like you listen to a song so much, you're going to start liking it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just even if it's in your in your area. You think that's how most people get in relationships these days? Yeah, work? Mo- yeah most likely. Like even this way, you don't have to say relationship. If I hang around you that uh, that much, oh, I'm going to start friends. acting. I'm going to start acting like you or I'm going to pick up on shit that you do and I'm going to do it myself. True. Damn. Yeah. Do you think we're work friends? Work friends? Yeah, I think so. Low key. Low key. Damn. Because <laughs> realistically, what well, well, my uh, one well, of my friends said, he's like, "Yo, why don't you and Carlos go on vacations with each other?" I'm like, "It makes sense because our work time it matches. Like we can go wherever we want, yeah. but we don't." You know I know I mean? because I feel like that's so much. Yeah, it is. Because I feel like. Men will get sick of each other. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. know what I mean? If bro, I see you all the time, <laughs> if I see you every single second, facts. I'm like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think I don't even think I want to see like. I know that sounds bad. No, no, no. But I don't even want to see like my significant other that much. Mm. Like, I still need my my time. Yeah, yeah no, I get me? that too. Like, I I always want introvert time. The best times is literally when I I drop off my girl and I'm going back in the car and blasting my own music. Mm. Like, that's the most bliss. You yeah. Know what I mean? But yeah, it's like uh, aside from this, yeah, men's men's probably wouldn't be talking. Yeah, that much. Which is crazy. Mm. I think, yeah, because I think when when like uh you work with somebody, mm-hmm. it's a it's a sense of like professionalism too. Exactly. You're not trying to like, I don't know. And I think that's better low key because the friends when you get like like best best friends like childhood friends, yeah. and you mix it with business, then it gets emotional because it's yeah, like yeah. if you ever move on. Mm. I'm not gonna. It's business at the end of the day. Yeah. But if you're like, oh fuck, it's hard to leave my friend in the dust like that. Like mm. this is my day one. You know. It's a, harder. A friend it's hard. wouldn't understand. There's no understanding. There's no exactly. understanding. Yeah, yo, exactly. that's so true. Yeah. Because if yeah, if there's no like understanding, then it's mm-hmm. fucked, fam. Exactly. Exactly. But I think that's the same thing with the relationships too, because mm-hmm. I feel like um, like let's say your girl is in a position where she's happy on her own, mm-hmm. and you're dependent. Yeah. What's the mature thing to do? Okay, so she's good on her end. But you're dependent. What's a mature thing to do? 
No, that's good though, right? Ah, she's, nah. She's she's her own individual. I'm on my own individual. You're not your own individual. Oh, and I'm not. You're dependent. Oh, you're dependent. Oh, okay, my fire. What's said the that. mature thing to do is to like leave, right? Is to like find <laughs> dependence in yourself, no? Yeah, to be honest, if your girl isn't like um complying with you and like like at least switching her, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Probably leaving, to be honest. Cause I think I don't know. I think uh, if if you if you rely on someone so much, mm-hmm. what happens to you? You become you don't know talk about you know those animals that they only live off of another animal. Uh-huh. Like um, there's this there's this uh, <clears throat> there's this like parasite shit in a fish. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it. It looks crazy. Okay, okay. So it, it's literally like a, a bug inside of a fish's mouth. Yeah, yeah. And it lives there and it eats off whatever the fish eats. Okay. Literally lives like in his head. Uh-huh. Do you become a parasite if you're dependent on someone else mm. the whole time? And is it like a symbiosis thing or is it like someone's always winning? I think somebody's always winning because mm. you're not growing. Mm-hmm. She, and oh, actually, no, she might not be growing either. Because it's like, if she has to carry your weight the whole time, she's worrying about you rather than herself. Yeah. Right? And she's going to get obviously get tired of that. And that's when shit breaks off. Because until she realizes that, whoa, whoa, this guy can't even do shit for himself, that's when shit breaks off. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. That's, that's like a mature way to look at it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if, uh, if we're, we're talking like young relationships, mm-hmm. I, th- I feel like you have to learn that anyway. You have yeah. to see like where you're at. Cause you're not gonna know how do you, how do you know from the inside out mm, yeah. that oh I'm doing something wrong. I know. Can you really tell yourself you're doing something wrong, or someone else has to tell you? I think you have to, bro. Cause what even if you do it, like do you even realize it? No, you don't. But like others will see it from the outside, but and tell it to you, but mm. you'll still probably be like, oh shit, I was doing that the whole time. You know what I mean? It's weird. I don't know. Yeah. Cause I like to I like to think um. Damn, that's that's a hard one because I think every single time somebody's told me something about myself, yeah. it's some shit I already knew. Mm. But that's just me being like yeah, yeah. in my head ignorant, and shit. Ignorant, yeah, ignorant. Yeah. But I don't know. <clears throat> no. Low key, I'm just ignorant like that. Like, <laughs> so somebody tells me, oh, yeah, tell me something new then. Facts, that's facts. like, um, you know, Eminem. What Eminem? So, uh, 8 Mile, uh-huh. when he's like, Tell me something I don't know. Oh, okay. And drops it, right? Mm-hmm. Mandela effect. Drops it. So but there was no remember, drop- in, remember in uh, Eminem's movie Eight Mile, yeah. where he drops the mic yeah, after yeah. after he like he disses himself. He says all the disses the the, the, guy, the guy was gonna went, say. Yeah, yeah. Disses himself, and he hands him the he like he like drops it, like tell something tell him something I don't they don't know about me. Yeah, yeah. And he drops it. Boom, mic drop. Big scene, right? That was never there. So it was never probably- existed. Mandela. No, effect. no, no. <laughs> That was probably a parody then. No, somebody, it never existed. No mic drop. But the you know the when somebody raps, 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 yeah, and then they, they drop the mic. Bop. Bop. Where did that come from then? Didn't Obama do that too? We all thought it was eight mile. It wasn't. Who was it? Eminem never dropped the mic. Who was he it? He actually like passed it to him like this. What the fuck? Like gently. No. Really? Yeah. Wait, then where did it originate from? I don't know. Probably the, some other rappers. So the whole shit. time, what? Yeah, but we thought it was like from Eight Mile yeah. because the, the rap battles and shit. No, why? Obama did it too, and he's like, yeah, oh, he yeah, said okay. something and he dropped it. Good thing, good thing, because I was like, okay, if Obama didn't do it, then that's a Mandela effect. Yeah, but not in like the rap battle, surprisingly. Really? Maybe it was from like, oh no, never mind. I was gonna say Stomp the Yard, but there was no mic in that. Yeah, <laughs> but the Eminem thing is smart because it's like when when everybody says something about you, but you already know it. Mm-hmm. Can anything affect you? No, I used to do that too. When um uh men's were men's were making fun of me in school, I used to, oh, you're gonna say the my eyes are small, shit like that. All the all the racist shit I would bring up to them and they're like, whoa, what the fuck? It's not even fun no more, bro. I know. And then, <laughs> and then that's how you get them. <laughs> so you think you have to guess. Low key, uh uh-huh. there's like this psychological power you can use. Mm. Damn, you're gonna use this all the time for everyone now. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. So this is for everybody that gets bullied. Okay. Mans that get bullied. All you really have to do is just look at them in the eyes and wait. I seen that. I seen that. Cause it's like the awkward silence makes them talk even more. And it's like, oh, they get insecure about the silence and stuff like that. So it's like the ah. only time somebody is bullying, mm. bullying you, bullying somebody else, is because they're mad insecure. They have to. It's like 
there's this thing in, in the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah. The weak animal makes a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Why? To make, I don't know, to make itself look bigger? To make itself look bigger and keep everybody away. Mm -hmm. So they hear the noise like, oh, I don't want to go like near that. <laughs> so the one with the weak, like, I guess, um, grasp on themselves and like, they're, they're trying to like pick out the other people, like knock them down so they're all on the same level. Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, let me, let me take a, a sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But realistically, this guy's out here yeah. frail. <laughs> facts, facts. That little Uzi. Yeah, that's that's what I was like. Um, uh, the the guy with a whole bunch of money is not gonna do a lot a lot of talking, but the mm -hmm. broke guy is gonna run his mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah, the broke guy always talks. Yeah. Another psychological thing. Since you're a Hall of Fame gaslighter, mm -hmm. I want you to uh, rate this method. Yeah. So the, the new method dropper is like, if a girl, uh, if you're talking to a girl and she ever and you ever notice her like falling out of interest with you and shit like that there's a new method that dropped that includes like your friend yeah yeah so in every guy group there's always going to be a guy there's always that guy like the prettiest out of or the most handsome out of the group right mm -hmm. so you're going to use him right so since you're on a hierarchy with this with your friend and and you're down here your friend you're going to have to tell your friend to go and talk to that the shorty that you're talking to and then, so now the hierarchy is like this. So she thinks that, oh, she can never go down, right? So you, she tell your friend tells the girl, drops the insane bar and says, oh, I don't think you're like pretty enough or interesting enough for me. And that's the pretty friend telling her the girl that. So the girl will now start, uh, go back to you because you're not giving no more attention to her. And she'll go, she'll go back down the hierarchy. Wait. Wait, so is it your girl or just a girl that? No, it's like a girl that you're talking to, and she loses interest in you. So you have to take your friend, risk her up, tell her, oh, you're not interesting enough. So go back down to you. <laughs> you get that? Oh, I see. Yeah. So so it's it's planting bait for her to planting go after bait. your boy. Exactly, and she'll go. And since she didn't get it, and she's not getting, uh, she, she like her ego is down now. She'll go back to you, which is a crazy game plan. <laughs> Yo, that's so that's so sad. No, nah, that is a gas. That's the gaslighting Hall of Fame method. I go lie. Is that gaslighting? That is because you gaslighted her into thinking she's not shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> like come that on, is pretty bro. smart, fam. Yeah, that, that's smart. pretty smart. Who came up with this? I don't know. I saw I saw some TikToker and he was like he had a whole like paper and pen like he was going at it. It's so. pretty smart, but it's sad. It is sad. Like I'm 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 so big right now on like I hate deception, fam. Yeah. Like the biggest thing I really really don't like is when. There's agendas trying to be pushed, mm -hmm. and we try to consume content, what we think it's going to be about. Yeah. And boom, all of a sudden, oh, it's about this. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't know? Fuck, I thought I was watching Transformers. Yeah. What am I watching now? Yeah, yeah. It's some next agenda, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's how they deceive you. Yeah. I hate it because it's all deception. It's like, they won't be able to, to get your attention. They won't be able to, like brainwash you mm -hmm. unless they do it through something you are interested in mm. so they take over <laughs> and deceive you through your own interests yeah has it happened to you messed up well like what, what's the thing that pisses you off the most i can't even say it you can't even say nah. it no oh, okay i can't even say it damn yeah but it's, it's shit like that mm -hmm. it's like bro I wa i'm out here i'm trying to watch I'm trying to watch content like i thought i would was gonna watch want to watch mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it has to be political yeah. stupid mm -hmm. I mean, shit. It's not even for art no more. It's it's for it's for purpose. It's mm -hmm. for like politics equals money equals power. That's how it runs though. So it's like man's can't even be mad at that. You know what I mean? I'm mad. <laughs> I'm <laughs> mad, bro. Yes. Dead ass. Like I'm out here trying to watch cartoons. cartoons. <laughs> you know what I mean? And no, but re realize this. Like uh -huh. we were watching cartoons as kids. Mm -hmm. Fine, because it wasn't so political. Now everything. the kids now. Yeah. They're watching shit, and it has to be political. Why? They're getting the yeah. It's dumb, bro. Mm -hmm. It's dumb, and then it's all a plan to make us hate each other. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Just love one another. That's all. Real shit, bro. Just love one another because if if we're always consuming content and our kids are consuming that content, mm -hmm. the future is gonna be what? It's everybody's gonna be fighting, and when everybody's fighting, where do we turn to? Yeah. The people in charge to. Mm -hmm. Like if there's riots in the street, if there's but that's the best fighting, for them though. That's it's the best for them because that means they'll put trust into somebody of higher yeah. hierarchy or status to actually control it. Be like, no, we need look at the look at the 
We need help. The higher ups hide so much. Get me? I promise you. So that's what they want. They want us to fight and want us to like go after each other. They want fire in the streets. Feel me? Whole time, some shit is going down. Like that, they're pushing. Maybe it might be like the like the Epstein shit or like the other things. But we're fighting. We don't notice that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's easy distractions. Yeah. We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. Save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. Trust me, guys, I use ShipStation to manage all of my online businesses. It makes it super easy to manage all of my orders and my shipping needs. Needs. There's a free trial and it's a quick setup. So if you've been on the fence trying ShipStation, now is the time to try. This is helpful for all of you guys that think you're paying too much on shipping prices. ShipStation always gets me the best deal on my shipping compared to what I was paying before. ShipStation makes it easy to automate all shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. There's effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one simple dashboard, print shipping labels, easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. With industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying shipping again. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98% of businesses that still Stick with ShipStation for a year, become customers for life. So spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. This podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with their audience, and sell anything from products to content to your time, all in one place, all on your terms. Squarespace makes it easy to sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. You can design your products, and production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you, saving you time and money. Whether you sell physical, digital, or online service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. With their asset library, you can upload, organize, and access all of your content from one place. With the new asset library, you're able to manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. So this is for all you creators. If you guys want to host and sell your own content, you can host your video content, organize your video library, and showcase your content with beautiful video pages and sell access to your videos with member areas. You can also use the analytics to grow your business, learn where your site's visits and sales are coming from, and analyze which channels are the most effective. It's important to improve your website website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash jumpers and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash jumpers to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Uh, there was this crazy um news broadcast. Uh-huh. I think this was like in the 70s or 80s. Okay. But there's this guy, huh. he he pretty much stormed in to the live news and went with gunpoint what to the, the news broadcaster. Like, you know, the reporter? Yeah. He went behind him like this with a strap. And then he gave him a note. On live television. On live television, bro. What Check this shit the out. Check this shit hell? Out. And there's a video? There's a video. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. So, this is what happened. So, this happened... Oh, so it's in the 80s. Mm-hmm. So August 20th, 1987. Yeah. Justice Justice so all of a sudden, this guy comes from behind him what with a the? gun. What is this? And he gives him a note. He gives him like something to read out. Oh. What? Yo, he where? Points a gun to his back Social and says, read this. Who's standing here and would like me to read... This um, is kind of crazy. To read this, uh, this, this copy, which was just handed to me. You want to tell me your name? Or not? What is it? And Gary, where are you from? So check this out. Yeah. So 
What he said uh-huh. is crazy. What he said, the and news it's kind of relevant. Okay, what? It's kind of relevant. That's okay, why me, it's scary. <laughs> what so, did he say? He pretty much said, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read like everything okay, he okay, said." Okay, okay. There's a document. So one of the first things he said was, <clears throat> one thing he said was his father yeah. was actually part of the CIA, okay. and this was true. Like his dad actually did have ties to like the CIA, and. He was able to get information on certain conspiracies. Okay. Some of these conspiracies turned yeah. out to be true. Whoa. One of them being the JFK assassination you read that, that what was he said? planned. And he said that this is a real thing that's going to happen. What now, check this the out. Oh, fuck. So, one of the things he said, uh-huh. and this is relevant right now, he said his physical father is in fact a clone created by the CIA and alien forces. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so there are aliens down here. That's what he's claiming. Okay. Who knows if this guy is crazy or yeah, he's yeah, speaking yeah. the truth? Nah, gun to the back of my <laughs> head, though. <laughs> For you to go on live television and do this shit? Yeah. And back this. I think he was trying to do it in a place of, in a place of like, justice. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. The gun wasn't real. Okay. It was a BB gun. And after the guy read everything on the paper, yeah. he said, by the way, this is just a BB gun. I'm not going to harm you. Okay. So maybe he's just a troll, but like, bro. It's, he just wanted his message across. So this is the, this is everything he said. Okay. He said, um, phones were turned off at Roman Psychiatric Hospital in Cincinnati for 48 hours after his arrest. Oh, no, this is, sorry. This is the report on it. Okay. <laughs> No, he just dropped every single conspiracy theory. And that's the best place to do it, huh? Yeah. To tell that's like the biggest uh, middle finger to the elites. So this is one of the things he said. He said he demands that the Air Force release all information on UFOs. He demands that the information about Hangar 18 at Wright Patterson would be released. Holy smokes. Um he said the CIA doesn't trust people on computers. <laughs> oh, and which we figured out later yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah became true because mm. there's surveillance. Now check this out. There's a secret group led by pr- the president's own staff. <laughs> Think about that shit, man. Own staff. There's a secret group. Oh. A secret group. That's you know what I'm saying? Fuck. So That's he, fucked. this is like all secrets. Wait. You know what I mean? It, yeah. This is con- this is conspiracies we heard before. One of them was uh he asked for a congressional congressional, congressional investigation and federal protection. I don't know why. I guess because he was like yeah. gonna be targeted or some shit. Also, this guy died. Okay, did they killed him right after. I don't know. I don't okay. know. He just got like disappeared. Uh-huh. And um, <clears throat> this one's weird. But he says there are beings around with the power to teleport instantly and do the same to others who can read minds and control minds and transform matter into other forms and create it at will. Oh fuck! No. Interesting. Yeah. For a man to go, I mean, he could have just been crazy too. But fam, did you see the the uh, the worm, the worm nah. that like the the biggest worm that they like de declawed out of like ice or something? Oh, I seen that. Actually. Yeah, and like yeah. I, I read something too. It's like okay, so since turtles, you can put turtles in ice mm-hmm. for a hundred years, and then you you pick it out, it'll still be healthy. Mm. So imagine like oh, uh, I think Joss said something about this shit, but Antarctica. Yeah, we don't know what the fuck's going down there. Yeah. imagine everything is in ice right now. Pick it out. Oh, we're still yeah. blessed. Josh's theory, he pretty much said, there's a disease somewhere, yeah. somewhere in Antarctica, mm-hmm. somewhere in ice. Yeah, and yo, did you know like Antarctica used to be green? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't know that shit. There so. used to be green land. And now fam. it's all ice. There used what? to be life there. There used to be life. Damn. So imagine what could have been there. Mm-hmm. And his theory was. What if there was a disease, yeah. like even a quote unquote a zombie infection, mm-hmm. that melts out and comes back and reinfects the world? Mm-hmm. You know what's fun too? Mm-hmm. There's um long long time ago. I think this was in I think this was in the eighties as well. There's people working on a movie yeah. in Egypt. Now they really really wanted to make the movie so realistic, almost raw, and get real Egyptian rituals in it, mm-hmm. real, um, I guess, faces of Egyptian practitioners. Okay. And during the movie's filming, what they did, they were conducting like ancient Egyptian practices, like real rituals. The crazy part was yeah. after filming, like shortly after even just doing one of the rituals, everybody got sick. Whoa. 
like literally everybody part of the movie was got sick mm. and the doctors yeah the doctors were shocked because the disease they were infected with mm -hmm. was something from ancient egyptian time what damn this is a disease that's not prominent yeah right now this is not a common disease you get this is something you would get like back in ancient egypt time mm -hmm. and they all got Dang. sick with it and that movie still came out huh no i think they canceled they it canceled something it. like it that. imagines like whoever um whoever watches it since they're performing the rituals on your screen mm -hmm. like the people would get sick too yeah like probably on some uh, incantation yeah 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 so i think they because they say like uh those those Egyptian pharaohs mm -hmm. and tombs yeah. and the esophaguses, they all have curses if yeah, you curses. if you mess with it. Yeah. yeah. See now it's like theory, the reason why Egypt uh canceled on Travis, not because of all the, the controversy, is because Travis is bringing too much bad energy. Oh, it's into, gonna cause some shit into the thing where it's like, oh, everything's gonna go to shit here. If if like if you throw a concert again, mm. oh man, all the bad energy on the people again if you want to yeah yeah but, but it's, hopefully it's good energy because like i mean he's working yeah. kind of like his dondo music now i know but also also something i discovered too which i didn't notice mm -hmm. so uh one guy ep uh, uh in epcot you know what epcot, stands epcot for? disney yeah. yeah so people are saying this conspiracy too epcot is short for epstein's cottage no way because look one of the one of the ex disney employees yeah exposed one of the buildings in Epcot, and there's videos. What the fuck? Right? So the guy goes in, and it looks like... Remember when you are talking in, like, the, the first episodes? You're like, Nightcore. Like, you've seen that room before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of colors, yeah. So he goes in. It's, like, red rooms, purple carpet. It's, mm. It looks funny, right? He's going around it, door after door, opening it. There's weird paintings on the wall and shit like that. Mm. Posters, everything. So I think one of the the girls, the lady in the, uh, the building, goes, oh, excuse me, like... Imagine the most, like, evil, gentle tone. She's like, oh, are you supposed to be here? The guy goes, yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. The girl's like, no, you're not. I, oh. I need you to get out. Like, in the most evil tone. Yeah. Right? So the guy's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep exploring. He's like, okay, if you're going to keep exploring, I'm going to call the cops. And then, like, so the guy's like, okay, I'm going to go with you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The girl keeps trying to distract the guy, like, oh, how was your day? Even though the guy's going, like, oh, what's in this room? He's like, nope, nope, how's your day? Like, how are you doing? Like, yeah. let me walk you down here. I'll show you the video. It looks so crazy, bro. Let me see. Look. Disney. Look at that shit. Oh, that's... Yo, wait. Is that the 33 Club? No, this is like a... There's something else? It's an abandoned building in Epcot. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, are you supposed to be here? Uh, can you tell me? No, you're not. Okay. Yes, you're not. Good. Good. What the fuck? Yo, I feel like I've been there. <laughs> See, like, it's like they don't know, like, they don't want anyone in there, bro. Cause shit like that, though, like, that looks so familiar to me. Really? Yeah, like... I've, I've never seen some shit like that. <laughs> Yo, you know what's weird? What? Yo, when I was a kid, right? Uh -huh. My parents took me to Disneyland, like, really, really young. Three years old. Land. The one with every every island. In Disney World. The one in, in Florida. Yeah, yeah. So that's where we would have, like, Epcot and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but ever since, I remember having dreams... Of like me exploring like almost like an amusement park yeah. and it's reoccurring dreams okay and every single time it's always like the exact same buildings the exact same like past yeah but it's reoccurring yeah it almost felt like it was real it was weird Ew, what the fuck so that? now i'm thinking like you know how there's dreams when you're a kid you yeah. don't know if their dreams are real mm -hmm. you think that you're what if actually i actually went there and I just don't remember. And you don't remember. And now it's coming back to you? Nah, that's crazy. I don't think so, bro. It's probably just a dream. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like it's a reoccurring dream where I could... I know exactly the layout. I remember like the buildings. Mm. I remember specifically there's this one building with like like these ducks and then you shoot them with water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Really? But no. it, it really resembled Disneyland. Uh-huh. Fuck, but I that's had, probably just my subconscious thinking yeah, about yeah. my trip there. Word. No, I had this other one when I wasn't getting um, uh, good sleep also. It's always the ones where, like, I'm not getting good sleep and then the days I nap, mm -hmm. like, that's when the fuck dreams, like, 
come around. Yeah. So I don't know why, but I had this like rental car that I was driving in, and there was like this little road, and it was super dark late mm-hmm. at night, right? Mm-hmm. This little road where I was supposed to be driving in, and like you know that there's like houses on the side, a fence, a fence on like the the other side. So it's like you're trying to exit that plaza. Yeah. Right. And I start driving, and as soon as I see like it comes close, there's there's like people, there's like girls on the ground going like, and they look up, oh, what and, the fuck? and I see their face, and I'm like, oh fuck, I think I ran over them. And as soon as I I like run over them, I like I wake up, and yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, I seen their face, like the the there's the two white girls in my gym, and yeah. I seen their exact face, and they're like, go get that guy, because I. Uh, one girl I missed because she she laid down flat and my car missed her. But the other one I think I ran over, which is fucked. What I, the fuck? Yeah, it's it's so crazy. I don't know. This is like a fever dream. Yeah, it was a fever dream. Dead ass. Interesting. And like I was on the chase, but as soon as I I, I realized I was in a dream, I woke up I'm like, nah, fuck that. I don't wanna I don't wanna be in this dream no more. Damn. Yeah. Did you eat something before that night? I don't know. I don't know. But I just wasn't having good sleep, and then I napped. Loki, whenever I eat dairy, I just have like crazy dreams. Really? I don't know why, but it's always in this this apartment I'm having the worst dreams. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I have some crazy dreams, but I have yeah. crazy dreams in general. Like okay. literally last night, mm-hmm. not last night, sorry, the night before that, Yeah. I had a dream that I was swallowed by a whale. Swallowed no, by a whale? Yeah, I was swallowed by a whale and I was like stuck in this guy's mouth, man. <laughs> yeah, I swear that's a magical school bus episode. I don't know. No, but I don't think of whales and shit. Yeah. But check this out. Uh-huh. So I want to know if this is true. Okay. Because I would not know this information. But in my dream, mm. and I, I was swallowed by the whale. I wasn't scared. And then it was because I had information that, yo, because of uh, the oils on my skin, it creates a mucus in the whale yeah. that the whale has to spit me out. So... I'm I'm curious to to think like is this some real information? <laughs> How did it get in my head? This guy became a Scientologist, man. Like if no 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 like if a, a whale actually swallows me, yeah. <laughs> pause. pause. Would it would it spit me out or would I be stuck in there? It would probably you probably die in there, fam. No. Yes. If a whale swallows you, fam. This is not the movies where like there's a whole there's a whole stomach and like. There's you. You're it still is on like your that. Sh- no, but like, there's. It's not exactly like that. Obviously, it's not with, exactly like yeah, that. Yeah. But like, you're gonna be stuck in there. He's not gonna throw you up. You heard the story of Jonah? No. In the Bible? It? No, no, no. You never heard that story? Well, Jonah and the. No, no, no. So, I I started like researching about like stories, and then one of the stories I do remember is mm-hmm. in the Bible. Yeah. Um, the story of Jonah. Yeah. He was uh disobeying God. And he was like scared to do something. He was scared to like confront people with God. Yeah. And pretty much God punished him. Like you can't cower it away and you can't you can't do that. So I think he he like fled on a boat and he fell off the boat and he was swallowed by a whale. Mm-hmm. Now when he was swallowed by the whale, that's when he was like repenting and like asking like oh forgiveness and everything. And he put like faith that he was gonna get outside. He's gonna get, he's gonna survive. And then that's when he was released, was when he, like, put full faith and said, okay, I'm going to do whatever he wants me to do. Yeah. So you, so away. you're saying your dream was your Jonah? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like... <laughs> you had the exact same dream. I had, like, a, a similar... No, but it's true. Like, yeah. bro was inside. I think he was in the whale for, like, three days. Something yeah, like yeah. that. Really? No, I don't think so, bro. I think you're stuck in there with a bunch of shit where you wouldn't be able to survive unless he, like, shits you out right away. Maybe I watch too much movies. Yeah. Low-key you do. No, but... everything becomes a fucking thing. Every, beca- every like, little scene becomes like, oh, yeah, I saw that in a movie. Yeah, it, the, it, it imitates real life. I guess. Life is a movie, bro. I guess. Bro. What if everything right now, like, your whole life, your whole concept of what life is, everything you've seen, your experiences with friends, you going out on dates, you going exploring and shit, mm-hmm. it's all just one movie. We're just replaying it. You're not even Gavin. What do you mean? Who am I, then? You're... Somebody that's watching what happened to Gavin. What the fuck? No, no, no. That's too much. Man. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> Crazy, right? And what I'm if just going to- you're you're on you're on play? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on play. You're not Gavin, but you're experiencing <laughs> Gavin. You get to experience him because that's what you decided to like. And then what happens when when uh, I die or or whatever? 
then the, then you get out of the simulation and you like you pick another movie you want to watch. What the fuck? And then I, I can like live on another. Like, I can play Carlos's movie and then I'm Carlos. Yeah. What if that's like that? so weird? No, no. <laughs> what if you're like you're like scrolling? It's like a <laughs> blockbuster for me. Like walk around like oh this this looks cool. That, yo, you know what's crazy? Like what if you do like imagine that shit you're saying is true, and you and you wake up. As somebody else, because like you pause your movie, mm -hmm. you said, "Fucking, let me go onto this TV and let me play that movie." Yeah, and so now you're living through him. But that's crazy. No, that's too much. <laughs> but, I, but I feel like I feel like I feel like even if you switched, right? Yeah. Even if you switched, you wouldn't notice. Like you wouldn't know. You wouldn't notice. Like oh, I was in a in another movie. Like yeah, this you wouldn't is me. know. Like, you wouldn't know. No, that's Cause, crazy. Because because you're just the you're the just the audience. Yeah, yeah, the audience. Oh kind of crazy oh you're the audience and on the the i forgot to mention in the epcot building that i mentioned there was a big balcony you know how the squid game people mm -hmm. have like oh like the where the elites watch yeah in that same building that that guy was no looking at, they have a there was like that? there was like um a viewing that's so that's crazy. why epcot epstein's cottage since his shit uh his island got like what the fuck does like, epcot actually stand for though i don't know let me search it up you know disney how with frozen and shit like that what does Epcot, Epcot meaning? Experimental prototype community of tomorrow. No, hell no. That's Epstein's cottage, my boy. That's what it means. Yeah. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow. What does that even fucking mean? Experimental? I don't know, but Walt Disney's like frozen bodies yeah, exactly. there or something. That's yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm so curious. I hope this is true because this would be really cool. Yeah. If... If it's, it's true, like, the they have the labs underground and, like, mm. experiments going on. Because if you think about it, if Disney's that rich, 100%, they have a crazy research and development program. Mm, probably. But it has to be secret. But... It has to be which secret. Which is crazy. Disney employees get to see all this, right? Mm -hmm. If I was a Disney employee, I'm not getting paid enough to keep my mouth shut. Mm. Or am I? Or is, like, Disney giving it these employees a bunch of money to just keep their mouth shut? But imagine, like... I'm making minimum wage and I see something like that, I'm going out and telling. Yeah. Unless I can blackmail and be like, oh, I'm going to flip the script. Give me a million dollars and I won't ever tell. And then boom, I'm rich. I feel like you don't have a choice, bro. Have a choice like, to what? I feel like you wouldn't have a choice. Like if, fam, they can probably control you somehow, whether it be financially, whether it be like, if you're working at Disney in the first place, yeah. you know what I mean? That means you need money because you have a job there. Yeah, yeah. And if they control your job... They kind of control you. Mm. But you can if blackmail. If you want to stay there. If you want to stay yeah, there. Yeah, if you want to stay. But you can blackmail really easy if you wanted to. If you've seen yeah. some shit. Um, the, there's, a, there's a movie on Netflix right now. It's called uh, They Clone Tyrone. Have you heard of it? No. They Clone Tyrone? So this, this is sick. Yeah. Because it's almost like... It's almost putting a theory onto regular life. How? So check this out. So there's a story. Well, the, in the movie, mm -hmm. this guy... He is a drug dealer, and pretty much what he does, he just goes throughout his day, he sees certain people, and he just goes around doing his drug dealer business, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. At the end of his day, yeah. he gets ambushed and shot by a rival gang. Okay. But when he wakes up, he wakes up unharmed. What? Nothing happened to him. So... He wakes up and he goes back to his friend he was talking to mm -hmm. earlier. And his friend's like, yo, what the fuck? You should be dead right now. Yeah. But he's alive. He's like, no, I saw you get shot. I saw you like with my own eyes. You were shot. You were dead. Yeah. You're bleeding. There's no way you could survive. So they start investigating. Mm -hmm. So him, his friend, and this other girl. Yeah. And the girl was a witness too to see his death. Mm -hmm. They decide to investigate. And they're walking around like the neighborhood where he got killed. Yeah. One of the buildings, they see like an opening and they go inside. Okay. And they follow like deep into the building and they see like this door. Mm. And this door, it turns into like a lab? an elevator. Oh, okay. So they walk into the elevator like secret lab type and thing. it brings you down. Mm. So in the lab, they see like this white powder, this like white substance and then they all these like chemicals and in the back was a tray. And on the tray was Tyrone's a, head? a shape of a body. Oh, fuck. So they go to, up to the body. Yeah. And he pulls off, like, the cover. Nah. And he sees it's him. So, oh my so God. he's like, yo, I was cloned. But, like, he's still him. 
No, because he got he got reborn again because he got cloned. But his, his Tyrone no, is actually dead. He's the clone. Yeah, yeah. So Tyrone is dead because he got shot. But yeah. they turned him into another person. No, he's just Ty. He's yeah, still, he's Tyrone again. He's still the same person. He's yeah, just yeah. a clone. But he got reborn. Okay. Yeah. Now this where it gets interesting because uh-huh. remember the white powder and the, all the substances there, all the chemicals and shit. Yeah, because he's a drug dealer. No, so the the white powder that was in the in the thing, uh-huh. the, the his friend is a pimp. But anyways, the pimp he takes the the powder and tests it out. He wants to see if it's you know mm-hmm. if it's a, it's a snow. Yeah, but it's it's not. He starts laughing. It's like ah, he's like he gets hysterical and shit, right? Okay. Like ah, this this is not this is not what it is, but it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Now, one day, this is after the laboratory incident, and they're all like talking. They go to like a chicken shop. Yeah. And they're all talking like, yo, why? What even happened there? What we saw was real, mm-hmm. this and that. And the pimp, he doesn't eat fried chicken. But to him, his 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 friend, yeah. so Tyrone and the and the girl were eating on like the, the chicken drumstick. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden what happens? They're laughing hysterically. And he notices, he's looking around the whole room. Everybody in the chicken shop is laughing, having a good time, and it's almost like they're in a trance. What? So what happened is every single one of their products in their whole neighborhood, Mm. they're actually testing secret substances with mind control and trying to manipulate the human brain. What the hell? So uh, not only was the chicken like, it makes you hysterical, almost puts you in a trance. Mm -hmm. They also dealt with like music. They 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 um they put like certain frequencies in the clubs to make people almost zombies. Yeah. And not only were they doing that, they're cloning people. So everyone in that town. But they don't clone everyone. Okay. But why did they clone Tyrone? Why did they clone him? Why? Yes. Because of the the things he was selling. His occupation. What is his occupation? Drug drug dealer. Now, it gets revealed to him. I don't want to spoil it because it's really good. Yeah. But it gets revealed to him and pretty much it explains how they only clone certain people who are quote unquote expensive. So it's expensive. Why are why are why is Tyrone expensive? Because there's not that many drug dealers. There's oh. not that many. They need certain people in the quote unquote the hood mm. to make it what? To make it the hood. Mm. So they need certain people in there to make it what it is so they can experiment on them and keep... It's almost like an environment. It's yeah. almost like a, a you aquarium. You need a piece. You need like this piece to, so it exactly. runs. Exactly. It's it. like It's like a, imagine an aquarium mm-hmm. and then you need the algae, you need the fish because mm-hmm. the, the fish eat the algae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all runs like an ecosystem. Okay. So they need him. So he couldn't die because they needed him. Mm-hmm. That's fucked. So they... So anytime like he would step out of line, they would clone him. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's a essential piece of the puzzle. Facts. Oh, that's kind of crazy. It's crazy. That's a show though, right? That's, no, it's, it's a, not, this is a movie. This is a movie. But it's not based on the truth. That would be fucking crazy though. The, I mean, it's a theory. Like, imagine like the, like the what do you call this? The garbage cleaners and shit like that are actually just all clones because we need that shit. Mm. But nobody wants to work as a garbage cleaner. Oh, fuck it, we'll just clone them. Yeah. You feel me? You never know what's so going on. So what if like. There's certain jobs and certain positions yep. that they need to be there. And if they didn't, shit would go into shambles, especially for their operation. Yeah. They're running a whole operation on that that area, that neighborhood, Super. specifically that spot. Mm-hmm. So in order to continue the research, those they need, yeah. those people have to be in place. So it's all just like a, we're just the hamsters. The the people and the things are just hamsters to them. Yeah. That's fucked. This hamster's like seeing, oh, how are they gonna react to this? And they're yeah. testing new products and seeing, oh, this one works. This is this yeah. is good for that. This this doesn't. Yeah. But you relevant. need an ecosystem first to yeah. like try to test. Mm-hmm. And you know how they always test on animals, they test on like monkeys and stuff, they test on like animal subjects, and then they move to human trials. Yeah. Where does the human trial stop? I don't know. When men start I don't know. When, you get me though, because because if they do that for let's say medicine, mm-hmm. would they would wouldn't they do that with everything? Like, yeah. In a sense, even for example, a video game. Mm-hmm. There's video game testers that play the game. Like I had a friend before. His job was like a video game tester. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure every single product in the world was tested. Mm-hmm. Fuck. But where does the testing stop? 
to see like their data and how how it progresses. For example, one of the biggest things is the phone. Mm -hmm. They where does where like do they know everything about us now because we we're constantly tested? I think I th I don't think the testing ever stops. It's just like it just evolves. You know what I mean? Because oh yeah, they they introduce the computer, they introduce then they introduce the phone. It's like oh how far can keep we can we keep going with this? Mm. So now it's like oh take away the phone, put it on your hand. Okay, now how far can we go with this? You know, it's I feel like with with animals, animals die like if you inject something in into them and shit like that. Mm. But humans is like you gotta take you gotta keep evolving with humans. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Theory. Kinda, yeah. What if? Everything that's collected about us on our phone is used against us in a sense of like it is though, yeah. Like what if what if this is like all simulation, right? Mm. But how would they collect information from us? If like the, let's say this is a computer program. Mm -hmm. When you when you play something, the data goes somewhere, but how does the data get collected? Yeah. Like don't you have to like put something in? Don't mm -hmm. you have to like I guess opt in for stuff? Yeah. What do we opt into? this using our phone using yeah. technology using all, all your all your like your interests and shit your wants and needs are like this and like you know that weird thing is like oh your phone's always listening to you maybe it is man maybe or maybe it's it is listening and it's it's taking down notes at the same time so it's fucked it's crazy yeah there was also this this sad story that it's kind of like that is like the reborn again thing mm -hmm. but th this is a real life story right so there was uh what do you call this there was this cliff in um i forgot where it was. i think it was germany or something it was like a 615 foot cliff, yeah. right? And a guy pushed off two girls and one girl actually survived. A 1600 foot drop, mm -hmm. right? And this girl uh, just graduated college, did all the, like, was set for life. I think she was um, about to work in Microsoft for like uh, a really good, like, good salary and stuff like that. But one day they decided to go with to like, I think it was Germany. I, I have to, I'll put the, put the typo in just in case I said it wrong. But it's like, you know the Cinderella castle in Disney? Like yeah, the yeah, Disney? yeah. So they wanted to go to Germany to see that castle, mm -hmm. right? So they were at it. And in that, across from that castle is like a bridge where you can get better angles and better photos in it with it too, right? So the two girls were like just doing their own thing. Random guy comes up to them. They're like, oh yeah, uh, there's this like really like romantic spot where it's like, very secluded, but the best angle of the castle is there. I, I know everything here. Like, I can show you, right? Mm -hmm. So the two girls follow that guy to the really secluded area. And once it becomes, like, private, no one around, the guy tries to essay one of the girls, right? Shit, yeah. Grabs her, stuff like that. The girl's, like, pushing him away. Ah, oh, I don't want to do this shit like that. The other girl, the 22, I think they were both 22, 21. Mm -hmm. The other girl... Punches the guy, like tries to get um the guy off his the friend. Yeah. The bo the guy pushes both of them off the cliff. Damn. Taking this is a six hundred fifteen foot drop, bro. Fuck. The first girl, I think she's twenty one, died immediately. Holy shit! Right. But the other girl, they found like when people rescued her, they and got put in back in the hospital. She was actually still alive. And I don't. And then what happens to her? Like she's alive and she's back. She's uh, well, I don't know if she's back, but like she's. They're trying to recover her, but mm. she didn't die instantly. When was this? Uh, this year. Oh shit. Yeah, recently. I don't know if it's in Germany or in S or Switzerland, something like that. I think I think there's somewhere in Europe too that there's this uh there's this swing mm. and it's at the edge of a cliff, like the yeah. highest. Oh, I seen that. I seen that. There's a swing there. Yeah, yeah. But that's like the best view of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Fuck that. You would. Actually, you would no, or I, would it? I would. I would. For for the video, I would do like one swing. I I'm good. The the thing I have about me though, like, I'm scared, fam. Cause what if I'm the lucky one? <laughs> cause, yo, back this. Uh, all swings break. Yeah, over time. Over time. Yeah, yeah. Is it time? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I have that. Like my most like my biggest fear when I'm on a roller coaster is like, oh yeah, this has been going on. Like there's rust on the roller coaster. Shit. Is it like the time? Oh, I don't think about roller coasters. Roller no. coasters. That shit. That shit will stand the width of time. That's what? fine. But we're talking swing. We're talking like <laughs> rope. <laughs> Doc, my jeans break. <laughs> like that's just been up there for how long? Years on years on years. <laughs> Bro, how many times have I broke my headphones? That shit will break. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's any facts though. So I always think like, especially those dangerous situations. Am uh, I the am I the lucky one today? Really? No, I would do it. But imagine you hit one of those ones where it's like you're coming back and you're like. 
you're trying to stop it with your feet nah, and you're bro. just hanging out. Oh my gosh. Nah. Or even the, the CN it's Tower. Not worth it. The CN Tower uh, view, the edge view or something like that. Where oh, yeah. Like, no, that's safe. Trust. Really? I don't trust that. I, I wouldn't do it, but I know yeah. that's safe. Because who's liable? Like, you pa- you are li- liable. Like, the people aren't liable. Yeah, because you, you decided to go you yourself. You decided to go, which, yeah. fuck, which fucking sucks. I feel like when you decide and it's your own choice to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, oh, and the, the you know, the McKinney Manor, the what the haunted house where, like, if you go, um, if you finish it, 20K in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know that? So there was a couple guys that went and, and uh, tried to expose it. Because like by how like by by showing them what they're actually doing there because you're not allowed fo- uh, camera phones or anything like that mm-hmm. right and the whole time they exposed it and they had to sign like this NDA right or yeah. like this contract yeah they're so smart because they said um uh they changed stuff in the contract the people at McKenney Manor were so dumb to send them the contract so they can send it back mm. right so they got it they said. Uh, and one of the things, like, if you do any damage or you uh, expose any videos, you owe us, like, a million dollars, right? Mm-hmm. They changed it. If if uh, we expose anything or we break anything, we only owe you one dollar. They signed it, sent it off. The guy signed it. Oh. So now the contract is set. Yeah. So they, they went in with their little GoPros and shit like that. And uh, what do you call this? One of them, like, showed them actually getting waterboarded. Like, all oh, the, imagine all the, the kinky shit that could happen. Um, Face painting clothes pins on nah. the thing like the whole thing is just like a kink fest like the guys are we- that run it are just ex- like exposing all the kinks nah, that's into w- one so it's not even a, like an escape room yeah it's just and like- the reason why you can't escape it because one of the last challenges is getting waterboarded you can't survive a waterboard damn you know? yeah because they how are you gonna you can't, it's, you can't. it's when they tell you to when stop when they tell you to stop exactly and the, the guy's literally getting hosed down in with a tape and just a, a towel. That's fucked, and you can just die. Yes, that's bro. messed up. Yes, but, but yeah, dark they, web. They went bro. out of their way, and that guy literally got to the end, to the waterboard part, and like gave up because obviously, nah. and just just leaked the film. Nah, yeah. it's not worth shit. Like, I guess, I guess there's a sense of adventure. Yeah, <sighs> but adventure only only holds like so much of like a real shit. Yeah, are you really gonna be happy after that? <laughs> I guess. But those guys, like, are trained to do that stuff. So it's, like, to go mm. out. That's their that's their career path. Like, it's like Sam and Kobe. If oh, to explore it? Yeah, Sam and Kobe. Let's oh, explore if, it. Yeah. I'm, no, no, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm tapped out of the first one. If I see a little axe, even if it's, like, a BB gun axe. Oh, no, no. BB gun, like, a uh, a BB gun or, like, a chainsaw that's not even real. Nah, I'm tapping out, man. Fuck nah, that. fuck that shit. Where is this again? Uh, I don't know. Texas? In Texas? Yeah, Texas. They do shit big in Texas. Maybe. I think so. Damn, bro. I'm just waiting for someone to get their get back. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably somebody that went there and they got <laughs> violated and they're coming back. <laughs> oh, you know that fact? There's got to be somebody like that. Yeah, like they're, a they're Navy about SEAL. To, <laughs> about to John Wick that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, you know the, the guys when we went to... To Disneyland, yeah, and the the Star Wars people walking around with the guards and like the the big the Dark Vader, mm-hmm. <laughs> some guy was like, keep keep walking, Pip Squeak. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the Darth Vader guy goes like, he just look at him, and I know he's mad. He's like, yeah. oh yeah, he just rolls him. He's like, yo, look, look are those your boyfriends over there? Like he's the, yeah. the <laughs> and the guy's like, uh, it's like, oh, why aren't you saying nothing? And then the the lady comes and is like. Um, you're, maybe it's because your language is thing. He's like, I don't care. He's a pip. He's a little boy. And stuff like that. <laughs> I know as soon as his shift ended, he was looking for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know he wanted to fight, to fight back no. so bad, man. Yeah, because you don't know under there. They're probably cheese, bro. Because you can't see their facial expression. <laughs> No. Oh, and then and then I see the video too, and you know the the big uh, canoe ride where you're going down like the the water, and you're supposed to get wet, right? Um, um, this this I forgot what it's called. It's a it, big one. It's the big. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. The water, the water ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, some guy took a bucket of water mm. and and threw it on them when they were where, where, before they got even got wet. Mm. He did it at the wrong time. But he threw it at the people. The people looked pissed, like they were ready to jump out, like uh, of, of the ride and like go after Word. this guy. It was crazy. Yo, you know that ride, that water ride? Yeah, it's actually racist. Which one? Yeah. So that ride, it was named before after uh, this Disney film, like really, really old Disney film. I think it's called A Song of the South. Oh, I think I know what Hold you're on. talking about. 
Let me search up Song of the South. Yeah, look. So it came out in 1946. Mm -hmm. And they used like blackface and okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Or I don't know if they used blackface, but they did like they did some questionable things that wouldn't slide today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the ride is still there. Really? But it was kind of like racist, you know? Really? Yeah. It's called the Song of the South. But like the characters in it are still in the the ride. The fuck? Yeah. You know, have you ever read the child book uh, Tiki Tiki Tembo? Nah. Really? Nah. Okay, so there's this ch this children's book. Look over here. It's called Tiki Tiki Tembo. And it was like, I think it was a white guy who wrote this. And like one of the first pages is like, um, uh, there was this Chinese boy and he was like saying, Tiki Tiki Tembo, no soul Rambo, blah, blah, blah. Like some next. Wait, let me see it. Yeah. Some next dialogue, right? I might have actually read that. Yeah. So the whole time the book is racist because the white guy, when he got interviewed, and they were calling him out. Yeah. He was like, oh, uh, I just was writing down what I heard from my neighbors. Fam. Wow. Tiki Tiki Tembo, No So Rambo. That doesn't sound like Chinese. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so like. It's just like. Yeah, it's being like, racist. Yeah, being racist. So Damn. the whole book is, yeah, was canceled. Yeah. Well, I think shit slides before and it just comes up <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. And no, it, was super, it, it, oh won't, it won't fly. Nah. But at the same time, like, uh, if. I feel like if we're offended by it, uh -huh. then it means something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if if it's not really doing harm, would you care? Like, let's say some racist shit happened to you or me. Yeah. But it doesn't, like, I don't know. Mm. It's hard to say. I, I don't know what I'm really trying to say here, but I'm... I'm no, I, I get you. Because I'm... Like, I, if, if it's not a big deal, mm -hmm. like, do we want to make it a bigger deal and then it affects more people? And then more people are mad about it. Like, if it's a little thing, and what if the little thing wasn't even necessarily meant to be sought at that way or meant in that way? Like, for example, the joke. Yeah. Like, if, if there's a joke said and it's, like, semi-racist. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't come out of a place of, like, oh, I'm trying to hurt people's feelings. I'm trying to, like, make that race down, you know? Yeah. What if it's just out of a place of, like, comedy? Mm -hmm. And us putting attention to it creates it's it sick. bigger than what it is. Then everybody's energy puts onto it, and now everybody's in a negative mood. Mm, and can't. remember what I was saying back when I was I was talking about the goal is to make everyone against each other. Mm -hmm. That matches up to the agenda, fam. I guess, but it's like I feel like if one person gets offended by it, then it's a problem, like already, because if you're already hurt, that's hurting someone, right? But say like uh, you're sitting down at a restaurant. And you overhear someone being racist towards another person. Yeah. So you're saying like, uh, since and it might come off as joke, right? But you're not gonna say anything to that person paging that person because it's gonna create everyone like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Right? I don't think that's right. I see, feel like you should stand like if, like if you see something wrong, like no. Well, what, what I'm trying to get at is like, what is the goal? Peace, right? Yeah, the goal is peace. So maybe instead of uh, maybe that joke turns uh, like if we're talking longevity wise. That person's gonna keep telling that joke and it's gonna keep, it's gonna, I don't know, maybe turn into something bigger. But what I'm saying, would it really turn into something bigger? Yeah, probably because like. But does it turn into something bigger because of a, because of an interaction that somebody really, really fights back at? Because that's that. when it would turn. Like the situation you're trying to avoid is mm -hmm. you like putting too much energy into it and making it such a big deal. Oh, that's crazy. That's what I'm trying to say, right? No, that's hard because it's like, if no one says anything, then it's literally just going to become bigger. Like, that guy's going to do it everywhere. Do you think so? Yeah, it's like, if you become, if you be racist to someone as a joke and and no one stops you, when does it stop? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I guess so. I don't know. There's two sides to that still. There's two sides. Yeah. But I'm I'm just I'm just on the, the idea. Like, I'm, I'm trying to really see where we're supposed to be fighting. Mm. Like, is it is it worth, like, fighting over? Mm, okay. Like, is it even a big deal? Like, who's yeah. really getting... Is somebody dying? Is somebody, like... Does it ruin their whole life? Or is it just, like, something in the wind? Like, oh, okay. Yeah. And if we didn't put our energy into that, maybe we would have had a better day. Yeah, That's just the way I'm trying to see it. That's but I understand. Like, I, I'm not saying, like, oh, let's not... <laughs> let's not, like, knock people for being racist. Like, yeah, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. Terrible shit. Like, they shouldn't be thinking like that. But what I'm saying is if we put so much energy into now hating that person mm. and get everybody to look at this, this is a problem, this is a problem. Now everybody's in a what mood? It's not peace. Short term, yeah, it's not peace, but long term it is. Is it is it long term peace yeah. though? I disagree. How? Because now everybody's looking for something like that. Wrong or right? Mm, no, no, that's right. That's right. 
because one one situation like that now it's in your head and then you're looking for other people oh is this person like this is this person what's your thoughts on that what's your thoughts on that joke some some distance old said mm. and everybody's looking like now i'm on this side are you on that side now everybody's fighting Fuck, but i don't think i think that's gonna it's gonna end up like that anyways though no, but I'm, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's going to yeah. end up like that anyways if somebody, if we put energy to it. Mm. But if it's just like a a blow in the wind, who's it really harming? Yeah, but uh, but people can push it off, though. It's like that's different people. Like a lot of people are, are different. Like mm-hmm. they're not going to let shit go and other people will let shit go. So it's it's very hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think there's a wrong or right yeah, with that. There's no wrong, there's or, no right. wrong or right. But I'm, I'm just curious like how it would move if... Yeah. We and didn't take we, we didn't take it seriously. Yeah, that's an that's like a very one percent scenario where everyone's just brushes it off. Yeah, there is peace if that shit happens. Right? Because then yeah. it's not it's not a problem. But I don't nah, that's not gonna fly. I, I don't know. I think yeah. it's just I think it's just a mindset. Like if, if if you move on to the mindset of trying to find happiness and trying to actually mm-hmm. find real peace, it's not because everybody tries to force their ideals onto each other. Yeah. But Instead of that, why don't we just try and understand maybe they're just out of a place. They're just saying that out of a place of, like, misunderstanding or shit. Maybe they, they think it's right. They think it's okay. I guess it's okay. I guess education is, is, the, is the best part. That mm-hmm. like You should educate them. But I think the I think there's a right way and a wrong way to, like, I guess address it. Because if you're addressing it through hate, mm. like, let's say somebody's, somebody's hateful. Will you hate them now? Because they're hateful. Mm, so it's just so like a- are you as bad? Because you're hating them because they're a hateful person. But you're putting your hate onto them now. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Right? It's just... A ne- and then where does that end? Never, to be honest. Exactly. Never, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And then what happens? Everybody's fighting. Mm-hmm. Stupid. Yeah, I don't know, man. Right? I feel like that's that's just the balance, though. There was always be fights in the world. Tune in in the comments. I really want to hear you guys' take on this. Because th- this is something I think <clears throat> about sometimes. <laughs> And I want to see, like, who thinks in that way. The, like, world peace way? Yeah, who thinks in that way? Because it, it's, it's, not, it's not very common, like, somebody will yeah. kind of address it that way. Because yeah. everybody's so quick to do the easy, and the easiest thing is to do is be offended and not see and not try to understand that person. Yeah. Those are, like, the insecure people. But the ones that are really just happy, genuinely, will probably just, like... Okay, maybe I can page them, but like do it politely, but I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna, oh. Yeah, you're not gonna try and understand them. You're yeah. just trying to like put your pain onto yeah. them because they cause you pain, mm-hmm. right? And then where's like the, the lessons in that? Nothing. It's just fucking more, it's more fighting. fighting yeah. It's whack. I know. But that's just how it's been, and that's how everybody's like trained to be. Yeah. So and now it's at its peak still. Yeah. Because it's like, damn, you say, even comedians, like, comedians say one thing bad, oh, fuck, it's comedy, though. Mm-hmm. But maybe one person gets offended, where's that line draw? Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know, you don't fucking know now. Yeah, and it's too much of, like, I'm on this team, yeah. so I should think of things this way. I know. Stupid. Hey, Amen. Y'all just love each other, fam. Facts. Right? That's a great way. Ho- hopefully, that hit, like, to some people and yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. changes their mindset. But let, tune out in the comments. I want to hear your, your guys' opinions on that. For real. Hopefully one person is like, yeah, let me just be happy and not, like, page everyone else. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, too. Like, I want to I know. Like, yeah, there's let no me know. Or, yeah, no I don't way, know. To be honest. Real shit. Yeah. You guys should have your own podcast, too. So I can hear your, your thoughts. I'm like, I mean? yo, everyone has a podcast now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Now everyone's a podcaster, a DJ, or a... <laughs> or no. OnlyFans model. Or OnlyFans model. Deadass. Bro. Holy fuck! What I happened see, to I our see, doctors, bro? I seen some girl was like, um, uh, she, she the uh, interviewer was like, oh, how much is your bank account? The girl's mm-hmm. like, oh, eighty k. She's mm-hmm. like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, www. Um, I sell feetpics.com. Oh, easy. I go on Omegle. I get, mm. I do a hashtag feetpics. Uh, got, get customers there. They'll send me money. Holy fuck! There's so many easy <laughs> ways to make money now, bro. <laughs> like that's good though. Low like key. if you're sitting and you're broke and complaining, fam, no, there's no excuse, bro. Literally Low no key. excuse. I mean, if no nobody's like getting hurt for that. Yeah, no one's getting hurt. It's a picture. <laughs> yeah, little, nobody's getting hurt. That is blessed. Little, yeah, do me. your thing, no, bro. Yeah, I, I will never like doubt anyone's hustle, bro. If you have to do it, like if you're back is truly against the wall mm-hmm. your real hustler will come out of you and if you don't have it then yeah you're, you're just gonna be sitting yeah you're gonna be sitting, sitting there broke fam <laughs> real shit no that's that's real yeah find some way bro yeah everybody has a way just find out what yeah, it is yeah it does everybody has something mm-hmm. but man like 
especially on this social media, is like you would th- you'll think you're rich, and mm-hmm. then like you'll go on social media right away, Instagram. Oh, I'm Lil Tay, and you're broke. No, but yo, a lot of the people on social media, they're not actually rich. Yeah, they're not. Like, you but, don't. Yeah, but it literally gets into your mind because it's like holy fuck. You, this, you see, this sixteen year old is literally richer than me. How is that? That's what I'm saying. Like y'all should stop flexing like fancy shit. Like who oh, cares, man, bro? Man. And for what? You guys are you guys are impressing who? Stop you guys are trying it. to like flex on who? Like it's dumb to exactly. me. Exactly, that Balenciaga shit. Like that's just whack. <laughs> He's wearing it. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, let, let, let's let's talk about something. What? So you knowing <laughs> that Balenciaga is satanic? Yeah, yeah. No, and you going out of your way to buy and pay like hard earned money to wear no, satanic I think it's shit. Cool. I just think it's cool. So you think satanic shit is cool? No, I don't think satanic. I think this design is cool. Like, it's the Bernie Sanders shit. They just put their... It just happens to be Balenciaga. But like, you know what Balenciaga yeah, did. Yeah, I know how it... I know exactly what it means. I still bought it. That doesn't mean, like, oh, I'm I'm supporting them. Like, no. Really? You <clears throat> no. don't think so? I just think it's cool. So you gave money to the brand that supports, like... You don't think it's bad? <laughs> no, I don't think it's bad. Work? Because I, I think it's cool. It's like, yeah, I'm, I listen to Uzi still. I'm not a devil worshiper. What is cool? I don't know. Um... Cool, like I, li- I like the design, like that's it. Like, I think it's cool. Why don't you get the Bernie Sanders one? Why does it have to be Balenciaga? I don't know, still. exactly. That's my point. Is like, I don't know. We, we, we're easily to to let ourselves be brainwashed again, even though we know, mm. for example, the Lil Uzi thing. Like, Lil Uzi is satanic, fam, mm. it's literally demonic. Yeah, man, still enjoy. I think I'm just a fan of like, especially in clothing, like cancel culture, like cancel culture. If something's like canceled yeah oh yeah that that's what's in trend now like that's i'll wear that you know what i mean like but the gucci shoes to be edgy yeah to be edgy mm. I, don't, I don't know i just i don't know i don't know <laughs> what do you mean you don't know like i don't know. did it fam <laughs> no no i just think it's sick <laughs> no but that's that's the problem i feel like yeah i feel like everybody's like that we're just trying to <laughs> yeah so it, like we know it's bad for us but we just yeah, do yeah. what's bad for us like we we ask we ask God for a good life and then we do wrong. Mm-hmm. Like what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> like real shit. Like we're, we like ask like, yo, can I can I do good things? Can I, like can I? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. And then we go out here and like do some bullshit. I know. I don't know, man. Like Balenciaga has been trending, so I'm like, yo, let me put that shit on. Crazy selling your soul, fam. I'm not selling, I'm selling my selling your soul. hoodie. Stop deeping it, bro. Selling your soul, it's team bro. God, still. You know what I mean? Crazy. But yeah, man. You don't have to page me at that like that. Crazy. Right? Satanic, bro. That's all I'm saying. If somebody has to say it has to be me, <laughs> yeah. if no, if nobody's gonna say it, it has to be me, bro. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm doing a disservice for my like if I truly believe mm-hmm. and I truly follow and I don't speak up, yeah, then am I really a follower? Mm. Good point. Good point. You know, I have yeah. to. Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, yeah. for watching the episode of the Drummer's Drummer. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Go down below on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. Make sure to download the episodes. We love you guys, man. Also, go check out my other channel. There's crazy content coming soon. Yes, sir. Very, very, very exclusive content coming soon. So go check it out. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, too. Jumpers jump out. Deuces.